What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Elbon coming to y'all with a banger. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a everything wrong with my Genesis Coupe. I felt like this video would be kind of nice to make to give like a beginning standpoint of where this car is starting out before I get to really fixing on it. To me, it's a decent amount of stuff that needs to be fixed. Not like a lot, a lot, but to me it's a lot. But let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that's wrong with this car for sure is gonna be the cosmetic aspect of it. As you can see, there is a uh, big ass dent in the fender. I do take full responsibility for that. That is on me. You know, it was one of those bad days, but you know, could be worse, you feel me? It's not bad though, right? Nah, that's horrible. But yeah, I think that's a really big issue because like, literally, it doesn't look too bad from the rest of the car. But like, the second you see this, it's like, dog, Fix your shit, nigga. Coming to the other front side, I mean, as you can see, it's not perfect either. <laughs> That's not perfect at all. Uh, that shit looks rough. I'd say the front of this car definitely looks the roughest. The grill doesn't really fit, as you can see. It's kind of held on there by like 3M tape that doesn't want to fully stick. That needs to be fixed. There's paint on the headlights. That's kind of nice. Who doesn't like that? Also, the paint on this is cracking here because, like, it doesn't necessarily have the best fitment. So, just the entire front end just needs a whole lot of TLC. Hood gap. Look at this shit. I can stick my whole finger in here. Look at this, dog. Come on, bro. And then this side over here is hella tight. You can't even put a finger in here. So, yeah, fitment's not the best. <laughs> the entire front end definitely needs some work. But it, it's, it's, it's all right. It's cool. Another thing is the fender doesn't even line up properly. As you can see, this is like perched up just a little. The door does clear it though, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, new fender ASAP. All right, moving over to number two, that's gonna be the wheels and the suspension. So for how this hoe really dries, it does not drive very well. It is on blown stocks. Nice, I know. So I could really tell that they were blown because if you see, okay, this this side doesn't look too bad, too, too, too bad fitment wise for a stock car, right? It looks like it's honestly lowered if we're gonna keep it a hundred. Like looking at the rear, this does not look like, you know, stock ride height. It does look pretty lower, like on lowering springs, right? So if you look at this side and compare it to the other side, you could clearly see that this side definitely sits a lot higher than the other side. So yeah, the car does sit a little lopsided and that definitely affects how it drives. Because if you drive this, you if you go over like a bump in this side, like on the road, you could definitely feel that like this side has like no type of play. It's just absolutely stuck. Yeah, no, it doesn't move at all. Tough. Plus, oh man. Plus, if you take a look at these wheels, they got hella curb rash. Hella curb rash. Not just that one though, all of them. So that's definitely, that's not cash money at all. Definitely need to fix that. At least it has Brembo's, right? That's pretty good. Anyways guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you're hyped to see me get this gen looking right, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like, comment down below. I feel like a fucking sellout saying that YouTube, the whole, you know what to do everything, but y'all know the vibes, right? Anyways, deuces.